exterminate all Metroid organisms on planet Zebes and defeat the mechanical life form, Mother Brain. I don't say switch channels. Stop doing it. Anyways, hello, this is J9LP, and welcome to my new um, uh, redo of Metroid Zero Mission. That game, as we all know, is a reimagining of the original uh, Metroid that came out um, about 25 years ago. So, yeah, this is a um, uh, Metroid's 25th anniversary, and uh, well, it's kind of what a few kind of about a month away from that, really. Um, and I chose to kind of it by doing a redo of um, uh, my very first playthrough that I posted. Although it wasn't, it wasn't my very first playthrough that I posted, it was more like the very first one I did, and um, I decided to redo it. Um, this time I'm going to um, uh, try and get a hundred percent and also maybe I'll, I don't know what I might decide after that to um, uh, even play the original Metroid after that because once you've actually completed uh, this game that's what's available to you. But let's, for now let's just start a new game and I'll be on normal because I'm not easy. Don't, don't listen to what she says. So, first landing on Planet Zebes. I called this place home once, in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission. So says Samus Aran, or Samus Aran, or who cares how to pronounce it, come on, seriously? Anyway, so this is, um, uh, like I said, the original Metroid with brand, brand new graphics, I'm uh, using the, the same uh, gaming engine that Metroid Fusion uses, and so I'm uh, obviously a few extra bits that want in the original game. Uh, that isn't one of them, the Morph Ball, and, uh, which also known as the Morphing Ball, also known as the Mario Mario, or something like that. Anyways, um, in this one, um, uh, well, in the original Metroid, you had to press it kind of once just to activate this one. Just like Super Metroid, you press it down twice, and to duck, uh, to get on uh, the Zoomers below, which you weren't able to do in the original Metroid, which um, uh, kind of opens things up a bit. Uh, one thing to take into account is um, uh, the waterfall is possibly one uh, thing that's kind of really unique um, to Metroid, although that being said, um, I think there was one other game that I know of that's actually taken on a similar kind of um, uh, device, um, uh, a game called Turrican, which essentially was a Metroid clone, really. Um, I'll tell you more about that in a minute, but let me just uh, let's make this Chazo statue first. This is another thing they threw in them uh, just to uh, make things a little bit easier for people who have trouble finding their way through the game. Makes it a little kind of linear, but I'm uh, I've never got that in the original Metroid. In fact, jeez, you've never got maps in the um, uh, original Metroid, are you? You have to make your own. Surely, it's uh, we are grateful for getting that. So, anyway, yeah, let's uh, send this one. So, as you can tell, uh, the layout of the levels aren't exactly the same as the original ones. Um, because, obviously, Given the sort of um, uh, sensibilities of um, uh, the um, uh, sort of later of my games, um, uh, I decided to do that. Obviously, we're bringing it up to date here, folks. So, anyways, um, let's just keep it here. 
and we get our first camera, not our first power up. Um, this is will be our first weapons based power up. And this will be a long room. Allow you to um, uh, shoot more than just a couple of feet in front of you. And yes, you could always do the um, uh, L and B thing. Even without that weapon. Uh, I'm rather bothered to tell you now. You know, it's, it's, uh, what I want to try and do here is uh, just, I'm gonna try and skip some Chozo statues. I've seen them all before. So I'm gonna try at the very least. But uh, yeah, this again. Sometimes it takes. Sometimes it takes me about a lot of time to actually do that. Otherwise, I'm uh, problematic. You know, he's um, so go down, you have to go down. Also, there's actually another couple of stuff on each of it. I'm going to press on. That's not really a sequence break, it's just a whole way of getting there. Anyways, the red, there's a red door, but we can't go through it right now because um, uh, we haven't got uh, the one to so, um, uh, be able to open it this week. And that will be coming up right about soon, right over here. Ouch. And that is our uh, Michelle tank. We get five when you press R and to on the fire. Um, I'm just going to be only one. But first, I'm not going to the game. Oh my god! It took me a dodge. And this one, ouch. You uh, get something first. Nice! I'm going to get the first time. So, we get. The Charge Boom, which was first introduced in uh, Super Metroid, and you will not even be able to do a R type esque charge and mount test. You will unmount charge shoot and mount shoot, but you'll also be able to do a charge attack, which most people know kind of as a sort of a mistake of um, uh, screw attack type thing. Although not really, because when you're vulnerable to, uh, it doesn't do an uh, optimum amount of damage. No, I just need to see here. There's another power up we need to get. Anyways, uh, anyway, alright, these are the little things. Um, the sort of thing is, I don't have to deal, I won't have to deal with them. This is where they're coming from. A lot of people seem to not actually destroy all of these bubbles up here. Um, and then they wonder where the hell are these things coming from? Well, I think what you all know by now that there's another extra one in here. Which I lost out of the way. And get my initial change. Yeah! It's really like I'm using the charge on that attack for that one. It's not getting so much damage, but who cares? It's not that much. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can fail miserably and then I'm not be able to actually wall jump. I can wall jump, I'm just not going to do that yet. Finally. Okay. Um. And the tower at uh, four of these things. Probably would have been on seven if he was the enemy. Uh, all these screws. Um, okay, and the hair is up first. First, I'm going to draw pink. Okay, so what am I going on about um, uh, Tarakin? Um, uh, Tarakin was a game made by Rainbow Arts, who are. Uh, also known, or am I also known, I'm not laying on the main as Factor of Five. Let's and uh, 
rainbow rocks did a lot of um, uh, things. They were kind of almost like the game loft of, um, uh, of the 80s, and uh, they did a lot of like these um, uh, things on Nintendo games. Um, Tarikan being one of them, and also the Great Gianna Sisters, which is kind of infamous. Um, uh, for the fact that not only was it almost a Mario plane, the actual uh, sort of level layout was almost almost exactly like Mario Bro Super Mario Brothers. And Nintendo had a bit of a conniption about that, so they slapped a court order on them and um, they took the game off sale. Actually, the game actually went on sale before Nintendo could actually stop it, but they still managed to do it. Anyway, so we got a more four bar, which I mean, in this case, um, only takes half a second to actually detonate. Um, which is one thing I both love and hate about this game. Not hate so much, just but kind of feel odd, especially after playing Metroid Fusion, Super Metroid, even the original Metroid. Um, the actual pace of everything is a heck of a lot faster. Okay, let's get these gribblies. <laughs> cool, but then uh, they will swarm all over you, and if there's more than like three of them, they will drain your energy. But you can just blow up just like this. And, uh, anyways, let's go down, shall we? Okay, I'm running away, get a bit of energy back. So, um, yeah, Rainbow Whites aka Factor 5, infamous for all that one thing. Um, also, let's go off. Nice acid death there. Mm -hmm. Also, Factor 5 were kind of um, uh, famous for actually um, uh, making a couple of games that were well, sort of pushed the uh, hardware to us, something like, for instance, um, a Rogue Squadron series for the GameCube and a uh, Lair for the PlayStation 3. Um, they also did, a, as far as I can remember, they also did a R type play, which also got them into trouble by Iron. Um, it was called Katakis or something like that, but they did actually withdraw it and uh, rebuilt the game so it didn't look so much like. Oops, I could just take that game and this one tree. Um, it is probably going to take me quite a while to get because I need to get right up close to it. And, uh, so, here we go. And I could bomb what jump my way up there, but I can't be bothered. It's taking quite a while to do so. Anyways, that's just a head over here. I'm going to try and get um, uh, at least as many of the sample items that you can get here before going into Malpo. So this takes a little bit of time. Um, uh, this is a bit more. Okay, through the door of pesticides that actually didn't kill those for you. Uh, come on, up. Let's just go a quick way, shall we? Ouch. Let's go over there, will you? so I won't be able to get that one just yet. So let's just collect the ones that I know to actually get. 
tidur jam 20 Think. Yes, I meant to do that, I did. Okay, um, oh, well, maybe I didn't. And the super missile tank, um, which I'll be getting later. And for now, let's just travel down. Um, almost seems pointless doing all this special weapon. I'll go and do it later on, but uh, one thing I do what I really want to do is kind of Travel here, back here, too much. Here, so, here you'll find these booster things, and we'll boost you right up to here to get another missile tank. And also, as probably you know, I'm uh, just like in the original Metroid, um, there will be an energy tank right up there. Stupid where they picked it, um, uh, wasn't very well versed in the uh, video games, unlike um, um, Sega and um, uh, picked a um, Virgin Master trying to do their sort of distribution thing. That's why um, the Master System did so much better um, uh, over in Europe than in the States. Explore more of more. Sorry. 